Let's have a day, y'all. Let's have a day. Go, 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 go. There you go. Yeah, it's great to be back out here. It's it's always uh it's neat to see when you when you see guys that are putting in a lot of work and see how their bodies change, how they're moving. The the first year guy versus the second year guy, the the newcomers trying to absorb it all and and, and seeing some of the things that you saw on film, and then the guys that maybe redshirted and are, are really starting to figure it out, and then you can see the confidence starting to blossom. And of course, your veterans out here, um, you know, to, taking the leadership role. Let's go, boy! Working, keep working. Come on, two. Day one, I mean, everyone's gonna come out a little bit rusty, but I mean, as a team, I think we're way ahead where we were last year as far as the playbook. We're not really teaching that much because, I mean, all the guys are really returning this year. And um, overall, I think we, I think it was a good day. Defense looked good today for sure. We got way stronger, faster, explosiveness uh, been going up. So, hey, we ready to, We ready for action, man. We just try to get, get this camp rolling. You know, everybody got to run to the ball. 12, we need all 11 guys to the ball, you know, running on and off the field. Sense of urges got to pick up a lot. You know, because the type of team we want to be, we want to be the MAC champ. So come August 31st, we're ready for Minnesota. Well, you know, just fifth year, so you kind of understand the expectations. So it's kind of my job to, you know, make sure everybody else, especially in the receiver room, they understand what the expectation is and how we go about practice, how we go about film, and how we go about, you know, the whole day throughout camp. We got to stay focused. So that's pretty much my job this year. Go get it. Go! Right now we got Jay Hawk and um, Emmanuel Reed. I mean, those two guys came in with me, so I'm real comfortable with them. I mean, from the beginning, I've been taking reps with them, so I'm real comfortable. And uh, a lot of th a lot of people talk about losing Jordan, but I mean, we returned four of the five offensive linemen, so I mean that's huge for any running back coming in. So the line is going to have a great year, and that'll help whoever gets put into the game. In the time that we've been here, I think we're starting to see our leaders emerge. And you know, you're, you're looking at guys like Jamal Island and uh, James O'Hagan, Tyree Jackson. Those are those are just some on the on the offensive side. Damone Harris, Khalil Hodge, Jared Franklin's been uh, again uh, just such a. Those are some of them just there. But we've we've got a. The good thing is, I think we've got a lot of guys that that can step into those type of roles for us now. All that work they put in, whether it be from the summer, the spring, and all those things that they go through. Now the time they get to see it, you know, really come come to, to pay off for them, and it, that's always neat to see. There's never a time worried about getting anybody out of the locker room on the first day of practice. They're, they're probably like 15 minutes ahead of schedule, and that, that's exciting to see.